have two channels here on YouTube, this one that you're watching right now, and a secondary channel on which I do weekly live streams of Sublime Text package and plugin development. And I've had both channels going for about two years now, and I've had an absolute blast on both of them. But I, I think it's time for a little bit of a change. <music> Hey, hello fellow Sublime Text Fanatics, Odan Nader, and welcome to this week's video where the topic of discussion is changes that are going to be happening here on the channel. And if you come to the channel for the tutorials that I do or for the new series on Sublime Text 4 features that we've been doing for the last little while and will continue for a while more, never fear, that content is not going away. It's going to return next week in its regularly scheduled time slot. What we have here is a little bit of an update video on some other changes I'm making to the channel on a probationary basis to see how things go relating to the live streams that I do and the live support that I provide. So if you haven't already done so, use those buttons down below. I hit the thumbs, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell notification icon, and then watch on for some exciting news. Now, just to give a brief history and not bore you, I've been using Sublime Text for about four years, and when I first found it, I fell in love with it pretty quickly for how extensible and fast it is and spent as much time as I could learning all there was to learn about this amazing piece of software. And then I started casting that knowledge outwards in the form of the forum and the Stack Overflow, the Discord, now here on YouTube, teaching other people the information that I've learned. I've discovered it's really quite of a passion of mine to teach people stuff just like this. Now, I'm a software developer by trade. I've been doing it for more years than I can count as evidenced by the gray in my beard. I even program as a hobby as well. And I have my finger in a lot of different pies. Now, way back when, a couple of years ago, I was working on a package for Sublime Text Override Audit. It's linked down in the description below. If you've never heard of that, you might be interested in using it. That's not the point here. The point is that I found it hard to get myself to work on that package because I had so many other projects on the go. And I decided I know what I'm going to do to solve this problem. And I created my, another YouTube channel, a secondary channel, which is the one that's linked down in the description in the end card and all that great stuff. And on it, I'm going to do a live stream once a week for a set amount of time. And that's going to make me accountable. Not only am I scheduling myself to work on this, but I'm doing it live in front of all the world so that I am kept honest. And uh, that that plan worked very well. I finished the stuff that I wanted to work on. I got it done and then continued to do live streams for two years. I've got in excess of 115 plus uh, live streams done on that channel thus far. It is an absolute blast, more fun than I could possibly have imagined to do live streams and interact with the community while I'm working on things. The downside to this whole operation is I kind of did a 180 flip because we're Previously, I had so many projects to work on that I couldn't bring myself to work on anything in Sublime Text without scheduling it. I Now I do the opposite. I only really work on Sublime Text stuff. And I don't really find time to work on anything else. So time to make a little bit of a change. Now, on my secondary channel, I've been doing regular live streams longer than I've been doing regular videos here on this channel. But even so, that channel hasn't grown nearly to the level that this one has. And primarily, that's because I'm absolutely awful at self-promotion. And I'd like to keep doing live streams. I find it an absolute blast. I still want to help people with Sublime Text, but I also want to work on other programming things as well. And I don't think that generally fits well with the plan for the channel being Sublime Text focused. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, for a probationary period of time, a month or two, just to see how things go, I'm going to move live streams from the other channel to this one. The regular live streams are going to happen right here on this channel. And they're still going to be Sublime Text related, but but instead of being focused purely on package and plugin development, as I normally do, it's just going to be Sublime Text open season. I could work on a plugin. I could find questions that people have on the forum or on Stack Overflow or in the Discord or in questions or that are made in comments on my very videos. Uh, anything and everything will be fair game. I'll probably even work on some video content by playing around with packages that I don't personally use myself to learn how to use them so I can create tutorial videos such as LSP. And, and it's also a great opportunity again to pop into a live stream, hang out with me and other Sublime Text users, share tips and tricks, and just have a great time. So we're going to do that here on this channel again for a, just a, a trial period to see how things go. In addition to that, I have created uh, a Twitch channel, which is going to be linked down below me here as well, which I, if you want to, you can come and follow me there. I would uh, recommend it because you know we're going to be working with Sublime Text, but that's going to be more open season. We can work on absolutely any 
anything and everything. There's a lot of stuff that I've wanted to work on for a while. Like, you know, I've been a, a hobby game developer for a long time. It's been a long time since I've done anything with that. Now I'd like to slowly get back into doing something like that again. So those streams would be focused on Sublime as much as I'm using Sublime Text to do the work, but it could be absolutely anything. And they're going to be more frequent. That's why I'm doing those on Twitch and not here on YouTube. Now we're going to try this for a probationary period for a month or two and see how things go, but I have a feeling that it's it's going to go quite well. Let me know down in the comments section what you might like to see in one of these live streams. Is there a package you'd like to see us play around with and learn uh, any uh, problems you're having, tips, tricks that you would like to share? Let me let me know that information down below and we're going live with this change tomorrow. This is future Odat Nerd breaking in on past Odat Nerd with a little bit of a correction. The footage that you just saw was meant to be released in a video next week, but due to some dental issues, it kind of hurts to talk right now. I couldn't finish the video that normally would be out this week, so the schedule was flip-flopped. So the, next, the first live stream on this channel is going to be the first Tuesday in March and not tomorrow, like I just finished saying. And uh, assuming I'm feeling better for live streams in this upcoming week. Uh, they're going to happen on Twitch and not here, so I can get a little bit more practice uh, in that environment and the, the changes that go along with that and establishing a little bit more of a foothold in the Twitch environment. So there's a link to the Twitch. Again, I can't remember if I said it down in the description below the video. Hope to see you there. Okay, past ODAT nerd, you can continue talking now. Is, uh, starting in March, we're going to be doing uh, these live streams here on this channel. Now, when the live stream is done, the replay is going to be added to a playlist, which you're going to find linked down in the description, and the replay is going to be uploaded to the alternate channel, which you can find in the info card on the page right now. Make sure you also use the buttons down below my head if you haven't already done so to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon, because that way you'll know when the uh, the next Spontex tutorial drops next Monday. And also follow me on Twitch with the link down in the description. And whether I see it in any of those places, uh, this this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.